Hey there, Camels. Today, I want to tell you about a feature that Jane Street has developed on our branch of the OCaml compiler, something we're actually working on right now about um, upstreaming into main, uh, mainstream OCaml called Include Functor. Um, so if you want to play around with this, uh, um, uh, access to the compiler that, that I'm working on here is all in the description below. Uh, so let's jump in. The, the idea of Include Functor is it allows you to sort of simplify the way that you might, well, take a sort of a partially written module and finish it out if the way to finish it out is, is sort of the same in many different places. That's really hard to understand. So let's go through an example here. Um, so to do that, we, um, the, the example I want to think about is this is, is captured in this module type mappable. Um, so we have some data type T um, with some key and we have map and iter functions that do map and iter, and then we also have map i and iter i that additionally take the key. Um, and so we can instantiate this mappable pretty easily with, with an array, very straightforwardly, right? So the key of an array is an int. Um, this mappable idea is general and could work with a hash table, say, that had some more glorious key. Um, and um, well, I guess maybe a hash table, you'd need an index on the key. Let's not worry about that detail. Um, so, uh, um, and then here the actual type T is an array, and then we can define these four functions straightforwardly, very easy. Um, let's say I want to go one step further and do the same thing with an array, except now work back to front. So I want to, I want to iterate over the last element first and then work my way toward the, toward the first. And this might matter if you have a side affecting um, iteration function and we want to just go backwards. Um, and so once again, the key and the T are going to be the same as they were before. But now I've written a map I that works from the end back to the beginning. So there's a special case if, it, if in fact the array is empty. And then otherwise, I have to run F on the last element first so that I can then use that to initialize my new array. And then I iterate down from one path, one before the last element all the way back down to zero and then return the result. Again, nothing very fancy here. Um, iter i on rev array is going to be even simpler, right? Here, I just use a for loop, very simple. Um, but, you know, I don't really want to have to write map and iter. I should be able to just figure out what map and iter are from map i and iter i, but, but dropping that, that extra argument. So I could, I could write these in terms of map i and iter i, but, but actually I realize every time I write this mappable, every time I write a module whose module type is mappable, then I'm going to end up with this same pattern. Map and iter can always be defined in terms of map i and iter i in the same way. Maybe sometimes I'll want to rewrite map and iter to be a little bit more efficient in some way. Um, and so I have the option of doing that. But I'd like a way of being able to take map i and iter i and then produce map and iter. So the way I'm going to do that is, of course, using a functor. So we're going to make a, a little functor down here. So make map iter. Um, and it's going to take some base module M. Um, well, well, M has to have a signature. Well, it's just the map I and iter I from before. So let's actually take our original mappable type, and we're going to break it into pieces here. So we're going to ma ma mappable minimal. And that's just, whoops, this bit and this bit without the map and the iter. Um, and then down here, what I can do is I can just include mappable minimal and then get rid of this. Okay, so already I think I've, uh, well, except for this little thing at the end, let's comment that out for now. I think what I've done is good. Yes, okay, excellent. Um, okay, so I've just broken up mappable into this mappable minimal and then the rest of it. Um, and so now down here, um, I want to say that M here is going to be mappable minimal. That's just going to contain those parts and not the others. Um, and let's see. So here now I can define map and iter in terms of map I and iter I. So we're going to say map FR equals... What is this going to be? Well, this is just, I'm sure, going to be a call to m.mapi. What's the function? Oh, it's a function that ignores the first argument, but then otherwise is like f, and it operates on the same argument. And then I can say let iter fr equals, and it's the same thing, m.iteri, function that ignores the first argument, and otherwise is like f. Okay, 
So if I've done all of that, that compiles and, oh, indeed, this looks like it inferred the right signature. So I think everything is happy with this make map iter. But now if I want to apply make map iter to this rev array map, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Because what I want to do is I want to sort of say here, um, I want to say something like, well, apply make map iter to what I wrote up there. It's a bit awkward. Um, so the only way I can do that is I have to take everything I've written and wrap this in another module. Um, and let's just not worry about indentation for now. Okay, so, um, so if I've done that, now I can say include make map iter of M and that will include everything up there, but then actually I want to include the definitions in M as well. So then I need to say include M here. And of course I need to reorder things. So we're going to move this all the way up to the top. Okay. Now does this work? Oh, it does. Good. Okay. So this kind of makes sense, right? So I've, I've taken the minimal part, I've put it in its own module M, and, and then I've applied it. But this is kind of annoying. I had to wrap things in this extra module. And then now, if I didn't put this signature on Reverie Map, this module M would stick around. I really don't really want it. Include functor is the solution to this problem. So if I remove, I can actually remove this, this M. And instead of saying include make map, make map iter of M, I write include functor make map iter. Oh, uh, oh, I forgot to get rid of the end here. Bam, and it works. Um, so what this really is, is this is kind of like include make map iter of that stuff, where, where this is sort of a pointer to everything I've defined previously in the module. Um, and that's kind of all it does. Um, if I just say include functor this, then, then it allows me to, to sort of skip that extra module M um, and, um, and then just apply it. And I don't need to, to sort of worry about more inclusion. So this is really nice because now it means that every time I want to make a module kind of like rev array map here, um, I can just define the parts that give us the core functionality and, and then use the include functor to give me the rest. Very nice. Um, this also works in module types um, and it will sort of include the, 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 um, the module type of the functor. That doesn't come up nearly as often. Um, you can read the documentation to see how that works. Uh, but this is really the, the, the typical usage of it. I hope you find this interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye.